What's up guys? Today I have a video about upgrading my Jazzmaster. This is my favorite one. I upgraded my white one, this is my pink one. It's the same guitar, it's a classic vibe. In this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade the pickups. Right now it's just stock. I have the rhythm circuit, normal pickups, and just the same cheap electronics that come with the guitar. What we're doing instead, I purchased some pickups, and they're special pickups. I got some wide range humbucker pickups from, I don't know if you can see it, let me see if I can focus it. Mad Love Pickups. And they are a, a Kunafe, or a Q-Knife, whichever way you say it. Wide range pickup, wide range humbucker that they used in the Thin Line and the Deluxe Tellies in a Jazzmaster shape. I wanted to upgrade the pickups for a while. The stock pickups are fine, they're just a little too spiky. They're single coils, so like it makes sense why they'd be feedback. It's just a little too much feedback for my liking, so I'm hoping that I can get, still get like a single coil tone out of these. I also have some upgrades, which I'll show you real quick. I bought a pick guard that doesn't have the rhythm circuit cut out. I literally never use it. For the electronics, I got a higher grade Switchcraft switch, one make CTS pots, but the difference is for the tone, I have a push pull which is gonna allow me to split the pickups. We will be able to get some single coil tones still in there. So I will now cut to the soldering portion of the video. And let's see if I get it right. Before I get started too, I'm gonna to link a video that I used to actually do this process that showed me how to do a dual humbucker with a master volume, master tone, three-way switch, push pull. That video guides you directly how to do it. It shows you how to convert what color code it is the wires inside the pickup to know where to put it. Alright, wish me luck. It's not pretty, but it's done. One problem. Now that we know that the pickups work, I'm going to take you to my test in Ableton, where I have samples of the stock pickup selection as well as the new wide range on the Let's go check that out. Excuse the quality, this is the best I got right now. I'm working on making it look better and sound better, but for now, this is what we got. I have rigged up a test comparing the stock Squire pickups to my new Kunafe wide range humbuckers. The way I did it is I played the same riff on each position. For my test, what I did is I took my amp sim, which is a Neural DSP Soldano SLO 100. I kept the same signal through both tests with the stock pickups as well as the wide range humbuckers. Anything that might be different, it could just be me setting the pickup height differently is all. So keep that in mind, I'm not a professional luthier. I'm interested to hear how these sound. I haven't really compared them yet. Uh, firstly, with the stock, doing the neck, middle, and bridge. Then I did the wide range humbucker, full humbucking, neck, middle, bridge. And then I activated the coil split and did the neck, middle, bridge. So right now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna play through so we can compare them all. We're gonna run through the comparison just cause I wanted to compare them all anyway. Let's hop into it. First off is the neck for the stock.
we're moving into wide range humbucker territory. We'll start off with the humbucking neck. Here's the neck split. Right, so you heard the comparison. I am super happy with these pickups. They're a lot thicker than the stock ones, and I really just, I love how this came out. I'm just so happy with, uh, I went with mint for the pick guard and cream for all the, you know, components. I think it just looks really well with the pink. I'm really happy with this guitar. I already was. It's, it's just, it's, it's cool to do something like this and have it work out. I want to do a huge shout out to Mad Love Pickups because I really thought these pickups were going to take like two months to get here just because it's coming from Australia. Literally, I got these in like two weeks, if that. They're really responsive online too. I, had, I emailed a couple times about a few things. Within 24 hours, I had an answer. Even like asking them about the wiring, like the colored wires for the pickups so I knew where they were going. But very, just very kind and I love, I love these pickups and if you're on the fence about wanting to get something from them, I highly recommend it. They're, they're awesome and I probably will be buying more pickups from them in the future. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you all and I hope you guys have a great day.